mass issues. It's using the MC squared system for the blade. We'll go and test the cables, see where the voltage stops. Actually, it looks like the coil cable is not even connected. So with this one, we are missing a straight cable that runs back. looks like it right here all right so we just need to put a new end on that one let's go back here and take a peek and then we're disconnected here for some reason from the coil cable so needs a couple cables we'll get it running yeah it looks like we got some damage to that cable here damage to the GPS cable that runs from the MCR3 back and uh, there's some more damage here as well so we're gonna have to run a new cable well there's the MCI4 and we have to basically pull this seat cushion we have to pull this uh, GPS cable through and out because it's damaged on the outside. I'm just trying to figure out what in the world they did here and how they installed this thing because it looks like this GPS cable goes in there, up, which it should go down. I don't know. I'm gonna have to take apart a bunch of stuff to get to that. And the other weird thing, this only has a GPS on it. I don't see a sensor for the blade, but yet we have two Topcon cables. This one is GPS for sure, I know that, but this other one that's cut is a Topcon cable. It runs down and along the frame uh, unless there's a sensor, which I don't see a sensor, and people are telling me there's no sensor on this one, it should only have one cable. So, strange. I don't know. Well, let's pull that cable out. All right, so we got the uh, bad GPS straight cable cut out. Uh, it's just amazing how somebody zip tied I mean that thing was all up under there zip tied to everything it's like uh, you know you got to be able to reach those with clippers they didn't think of that <laughs> anyways we got an extra straight cable we can use um, so it's coming from the MCI4 down and it connects to this little adapter up there which connects to another cable which connects to that so um, what I'm thinking this cable was is an old GPS cable that somebody just left in there and uh, didn't didn't take the time to cut it out um, like I just had to do to replace it so obviously they're getting damaged in that spot so we're gonna have to find a better way to route this and run it Oh, this one's all kinds of fun. Oh, it's so tight up in here. My fire extinguisher loose and knocking me all over the place. So, I just had to loosen up that bottom bolt. Reach way back in there, which is not fun, and try to run that cable through. And that's as far as I can get it with my fingers. So now I'll just throw a tool on it and try to pull it through. Oh, good grief. If this was the only way to run this cable, it wasn't a good one. <laughs> Whew, I can say that's not fun. All right, so I got the new cable running. It's coming up through and it's tucked on the side and it's loose. Don't have 3,000 zip ties in there. 
and it comes down here. It's not touching anything. It's not going to rub anything. And it's coming along here. It's going to just follow the the hoses up to that point. I'm actually going to take this off. We don't need it because I'm using a longer cable to make up for this little bit of I don't even know why we used that. Somebody did. We can use that further down the, the trail. Almost there. All right, well, we made it back this far. So from the cab, the cable all the way up to this point right there was shot. Uh, I had to redo this cable coming up here. I needed a new end. So I have voltage and I can stretch this all the way back there. And I have an adapter that I removed. I can actually attach to that, get it down to where it needs to be so I can run the coil cable up and get that running. Almost there. All right, we got satellites. This needs to initialize. Let's uh, restart it. See if we can help it out. Yeah. Might have to physically be moving to get it going. But we got satellites, so that's good. Could use an update. All right. Satellites are good. And there we go. Uh, green on satellite is confirmation that uh, we have connection. We have satellites. We have precisions. We're getting 10 out of 12. And good enough for me. This one's ready to go to work.